Tonight's forecast is sponsored by Ashbrook Audiology, where relationships matter. And we welcome you back here on this Monday weather forecast. I'm Dustin Staples, and as promised, I will not be sitting in the anchor desk anytime soon. Thank you so very much for putting up with me for the last month and uh, week or so. It's been an awesome experience, very tiresome. So, Louise, have at it. That is your thing, and I will not steal your uh, thunder once again from doing that. But it was awesome. Thank you so very much for putting up with me. And uh, now let's get to the forecast here because a lot of you are wanting to know when in the world are we going to see snow. And, that's, and, to, and to give you an answer to that question, not anytime soon, unfortunately. So we are going to begin to see cloud cover increase for us tonight as our temperatures are going to be pretty warm for a majority of us. 50 degrees here for you coming in this evening hour as well. We'll see a cooler air uh, filter in for a majority of us. We'll see those clear skies turn into clovercast and cloudy skies tonight. Temperatures coming in there in the low to mid 40s. We'll see a sunset coming in at 5. 23. So getting your day started on your Tuesday is going to be looking pretty wet, but again, other night, other than that, our overnight low temperatures are going to be in the 40s. So we will see clouds increasing for us tonight. We'll see a calm wind expected. So I know a lot of us have been used to those gusty northwest winds over the last several days, and it does appear those winds will at some point make an appearance. So if you thought we had enough of that, don't worry. We have still have plenty to come through. Temperatures again are going to range from 40 degrees in Boone's Mill, same story in Rocky Mount, as well as in Woolwine, 39 air rack coming in at 38 degrees in Stewart, 37 in the beautiful town of Ridgeway. So do know that we'll see increase in clouds tonight, and then as you make your way out and about tomorrow morning, we will see rain showers begin the day and then the afternoon, giving tomorrow a 7 out of 10. I keep talking about this. Uh, Shania always gets a kick out of this. Our producer says that, man, you give everything a 1. I was nice enough and I gave you a seven tomorrow. So anyway, uh, Shania, uh, always uh, a fun treat to deal with that. She gets, everybody gives me a hard time. I just kind of brush it off uh, as I do the job. Anyway, morning rain showers will lead to afternoon clearing. It is going to be well above average. We're gonna feel like late March to early April uh, for our area tomorrow. So tomorrow morning, rain, light, rain will be likely at times and not as heavy. So we'll expect to see about a quarter to a half inch rain by mid-afternoon, most of the early afternoon, all the rain is gone. We'll see our temperatures filter in. We'll have a sunrise coming in at 7.30. Here's your forecast. Area high temperatures coming into play. We have some 60s on the maps here for So if you're doing anything out and about tomorrow, getting in morning rain, afternoon clearing, we're going to remain above average for everybody as you make your way there. 57 air at 59 in Stewart, 61 at Woolwine will come 59 in Ridgeway. 58 there in Oak Level, 60 in Fair. Make your way towards Rocky Mount, Boone's Mill coming in there. It's both 62 degrees. And so the average high for this time of the month, especially this time of the year, is 40 is somewhere between 45 and 48 degrees. Hmm, that a number seems to be missing here, doesn't it? Yes, to answer your question. So uh, we're not even feeling like we need to be for the month of January. More so, we're feeling like April and spring. So some of you may have tulips and uh, buttercups and uh, all those daffodils growing in your yard because of the unseasonable warm weather. So right now, Mother Nature is confusing everybody. Uh, I think I was I was even out earlier this past weekend. You know, I saw some. Uh, you know, or, or I guess earlier last week we had that nice stretch of warm weather. There was birds beginning to build their nest in trees because of how warm it is. So it's confusing everybody, no matter what you're doing as well. So that should say 50% chance on Tuesday, 58 clear in the afternoon, 40 degrees for your overnight low. Wednesday will feature at near 70, 70. There were some models pushing higher temperatures. I said, I better not do that. So upper 60s for on our Wednesday. Showers and storms move in on Wednesday night will result, or showers, showers on Wednesday night. Storms possible on Thursday. Here we go again. We've seen this pattern before, right? We saw scattered showers and storms last Thursday, and we're going to do a repeat of this 
once again. And yes, it finally gets to cool off once more as you see this. So our overnight lows are going to feel pretty warm and then we're going to get really cold again at night. So 55 Friday, 53 coming there. A mix of clouds and sun in the afternoon. It's going to begin breezy once again. So we've seen this pattern that we get a few dry days and it rains and it, a few dry, few dry more days and it rains again. So just letting you know that Mother Nature is definitely keeping us on our toes to say the least. Uh, once again, you know, we're like, what the heck is this? We done flip the calendar to April and it says January. The what is today? January the 16th uh, at this time, 17th. So if you're watching us some later time down the road, if you're watching us maybe not even in Virginia, you're like, man, are we sure this is south side Virginia's weather? This looks more like, I don't know, uh, what is this, Georgia, maybe Alabama's weather right now? Seeing some 40s and 60s and 40s at night, 60s and 70s a day. Of course, as you know, they had a major tornado outbreak in parts of Alabama last week, and it prompted so much uh, destruction and devastation moving in there. So they actually have a mid, as I like to call a winter severe weather season. For us, we just have a winter or more so a spring uh, sprinter, as we're like to calling this the fake spring. Uh, you all have seen that little meme going across all of our social media saying we've got different type of seasons. The 12 seasons of Virginia, I think we're now in season four fake spring at this point. So don't worry, winter is coming back. I have a very strong feeling we're going to be getting an impact on this pretty soon. So on that note, just get everything out your wardrobe until Thursday cool weather arrives by the upcoming weekend. Take care. We have a lot more BTW 21 programming coming up next. Your BTW 21 weather forecast is sponsored by Zentmeyer Chiropractic.